Bands of anti balaka continue to roam the countryside of the Central African Republic. They are accused of slaughtering Muslim civilians as revenge for atrocities committed by the Muslim Selika rebel coalition during its nine months in power. Many say they came to the capital to fight Selika in December and force out the government of Selika leader Michel de Toja. But international troops in the CAR say they are, quote, outlaws, as the movement devolved into looting and mob violence. Some anti balaka turned to setting up roadblocks on country roads. Teenagers brandishing weapons and extorting money. French and African Union troops are responding with force. Mediation could prove difficult. This loose federation of militia groups has several leaders claiming to speak on its behalf. Some say continued insecurity here is the work of, quote, uncontrolled elements and fake anti balaka Joachim Kokate represented the anti balaka at a regional summit in January. It is the time for justice. We just need to target those organizing theft, looting, and extrajudicial killings. They should be sought out, arrested, and turned over to the authorities, and they will answer for their acts. Many anti balaka tell VOA they want the same treatment Selika rebels are getting. They want to be barracked, paid, fed, and given the chance to join the National Army as part of disarmament. Some see themselves as liberators of the country. anti balaka fighters are recognizable by the talisman they wear. See this? A Kalishnikov bullet. You could fire on him and it wouldn't go through. You could stab him and it wouldn't go through. And there are others. Grenades can't hurt us. The conflict here has increasingly been cast as sectarian. But the anti balaka made up of both animists and Christians, insists their mission is patriotic, not religious. Their leaders say the anti balaka number in the tens of thousands. The movement has its roots in self-defense militias that have been around primarily in the West since the 1990s. They were locals' response to general lawlessness and state indifference. Those militias were joined by ex-military, loyal to former President François Bozizé, after he was ousted by Selika last March. French and African Union troops continue to recover large caches of weapons and munitions from the militia and have made some arrests. And look, VOA News, Bengi.